from a self-powered TV, an upside-down house, shoes that can charge your phone. These are just some of Africa's craziest inventions, and I promise you, they're unlike anything you've ever seen before. Today, I want to become a, a best inventor. Hoping that his invention will bring him fame and fortune. When building this crane, I've, I've used the, the soft steel to build the structure. The remote control of the robot has seven control sticks, which each has a unique function. And that is how he's able to control this robot, which was built from scratch and trash. My dream is to see myself being at place where they invent, where they will give us all the resources, the materials that we need, and build the machines that will simplify people's lives. Some of us use power banks when we can't get access to electrical charging ports or we need a portable charging device. Now, imagine charging your phone from your shoe. It's clear we're looking for a better way to keep our phones charged. Now a 24-year-old inventor in Kenya has a new solution that uses your soul. Your shoe soul, that is. This happened when he came up with the idea of using the energy that you use when walking and transforming it to some kind of electrical charge that can be used to charge phones. This charger works using pressure. As you walk, you generate pressure that in turn generates energy. Once you have arrived where you were going, you can now sit down and charge your mobile phone. Now this invention is also kind of unique because there's nothing really like it all over the world. And you can imagine the energy that you're using when you're walking, you're also using it to charge your phone. So it's like you're, you're a walking battery. It will sell for the equivalent of about $46 and come with a two and a half year warranty. Imagine having a TV that can run without the use of electricity. I know it sounds like something straight out of a sci-fi film. It is an embedded wireless power generator that uses radio frequency to power a television set. Chikumbuso demonstrated his latest innovation whereby a TV does not need the electricity connection for it to function. He claims that it's powered by radio frequencies, which is then converted to energy by the device that he has attached to the back of the TV. So obviously, if this invention really works, then it changes a lot of things, you know, it changes a lot of things. Uh, this is our self-powered TV that we have uh, designed. The first in the world to have such kind of a technology where a television is powered with a radio frequency. So as you can see right now, I'm powering this television. It is all in one. You don't need to put it on electricity or on solar panel or anything. Yeah, and there was even some claims that Maxwell was even being hunted down because with this invention, he's a threat to a lot of technology companies and even in his government itself. And you can see that there is a microsonic energy device, this box. This is the device that is converting radio frequencies into pure energy. As you can see, the power of the cable was supposed to be here. On all traditional televisions, power comes here, but there's no power as you can see. The television is... It is working as it is. Yeah, and he even had to exile himself because his life was really in danger. And I guess this technology eventually just faded away. And that's why we really don't hear of it today. It is indeed an exciting innovation that comes in handy. So someone woke up one day and decided to make a plane out of a motorcycle. 21 year old mechanical engineer called George built a microlite plane using scrap metals. Like the most experienced engineer, he carries out the necessary checks. <laughs> Checking the oil and then the engine, he tightens the nuts and bolts. <laughs> and then observing safety guidelines, George straps himself into the seat ready for takeoff. Old George Tumuti has spent almost every waking moment building what he calls his micro light aircraft. The plane has no exact resemblance to any sort of plane. It has wings like that of a plane, but the body of the motorcycle though has three wheels to improve its stability when landing and when on the ground. He started to work towards his dream in 2009 after scoring a C plus in his A levels. And when he was unable to secure employment, he got creative and started to wash cars to raise the over 100,000 shillings he needed to fund the project. Some of the equipment which caught a lot of attention was like the 200cc engine. And I don't really know what's the deal with Africans and motorcycle engines, you know. And, and time and time I repeat this. I think it's because motorcycle engines are too available. And that's why most inventors in Africa 
always use motorcycle engines. For two years he has built it and now his dream machine of many colors is ready to take off. I wonder how he will pull up to a gas station to fuel this thing. He will be like, Yo, fill, up, fill, up, fill, up my plane, fill up my plane. Yeah, I'm late for an appointment or something. Fill it up, fill it up. I mean, if these are the kinds of things that Africans are inventing, then why do you not hear of them? So living in a normal house is not as comfortable for some people as this inventor thought. The house is built well, but you can never know why the owner decided that he doesn't want his floor to touch the ground. So, well guys, you see, there's basically everything inside this bathroom. Um, but it's upside down, eh? Upside down. <laughs> This one. Look at this. Look at inside the toilet. Oh, poop. In short, the roof is on the ground while the floor is on the sky. Guessing this is the real meaning of confuse them. For our next invention, we have the engineless car. And you're probably thinking that it's impossible. Or maybe the car only moves downhill, right? To be fair, it doesn't seem possible. But this is Africa. <laughs> the non-engine vehicle does not rely on the combustion engine to move, but an electric motor powered by rechargeable batteries. As you can see on the hood of the car, there are batteries. I know you're wondering how this is possible. Well, he did his research and also claimed to receive visions from God. Who then instructed him on how to make this car? We air then, yeah, air charger, air charger, air battery charger, no. battery charger. Yes. Yeah, we air then. And we air motor controller. Motor. We air this is not here. To simplify it more, it's more like the toy vehicle that we buy for kids that uses batteries and remote control to move around. However crazy it is, though, it has accomplished its purpose of being a car. Imagine using power from water. And I don't mean the kind of power that is used to power turbines, which is obviously used by running water. But what I'm talking about is about a generator that uses water rather than fuel. I just believe inside me that this is possible, I can get it done, I'm almost there. So that was how it has kept me going. And each day I just see those generators that are still there, so I, wanted, I just wanted an answer. I needed to do something. A liter of water? And the generator is going to last just six hours. You can actually see it working. It took him 16 good years to make this machine. What this replaces the water tank. Then you have your pump. The, the water just goes, goes in into this machine through here. Then so it returns back. How do you generate the energy? The, ener the energy actually comes from this battery. First of all, I need to put, plug in this battery to the machine, connect it to the machine. Then I want to start it. It brings out another power that recharges the battery. So he's like our Thomas Edison. But I still wonder how you've never heard of this African. I mean, that's crazy. That's crazy. If this thing truly works, we should have probably heard of it. Okay. It's just that the, the some part, the machine is still need to rest after six hours. Anyway, that's it for today's craziest inventions in Africa. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.